हेलो चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू सरस्वती शिशु कुंज वगवाला बोर्ड सर हाउ आर यू ऑल यू आर यू ऑल आर वेरी हैप्पी आई नो दैट आई नो नीड टू आस दैट हाउ आर यू ऑल बिकॉज आई नो आई नो दैट आई एम श्योर दैट आई होम यू आर स्टडी सो डेफिनेटली यू ऑल आर एंजॉइंग राइट बट सेमल्टेनियसली यू हैव टू स्टडी ऑल्सो राइट वी कॉन्ट वेस्ट अवर होल इयर सो With the help of this online and offline video, you can study very nicely, and you can touch with your all subject teachers, right? So today I am giving you session of standard for English, and today we will do poem seven, puppy and I. We will do part three of this video. This is the part three of this video, and today we will do two exercises. Okay? First of all, whatever I will do, that you will do in your textbook with me, simultaneously with me. But remember one thing: these both exercises you have to copy in your notebook. That is your homework, right? So class work, how you are doing with me? No, that I am writing, I I am explaining. So like that way, you are sitting at home only. Just that is a different. That right now you are in your school. But the same way we will study. Whatever I will write on the blackboard, whatever I will explain you, that you will write in your textbook. And then after, as a homework, you will complete it and you will repeat in your English notebook. Okay. Now let's start. See this seventh question. List these animals under domestic and wild animals. It's so simple. right because from first standard or maybe kg section you are studying this wild animals and domestic animals so what is the difference between wild and domestic animals the domestic animals we can keep as a pet domestic animals will definitely not harm us if we will harm them then they will harm us otherwise they will not harm us purposely then after domestic animals can uh, we can see around us right we can see cow dog these all domestic animals around you and what about wild animals wild animals are living in forest in jungle so daily you are not seeing them but you can see in zoo in your uh, tv okay whenever you you are going in a uh, uh, forest somewhere uh, so over there you can see right so like that way we will make the classify work here here we will list the animal name of domestic and here we will mention wild animals okay but from where from this bracket you can see bracket jaguar okay then after fox jaguar and fox are little bit different otherwise they both are xerox copy of each other so jaguar fox tiger dog cow elephant bear sheep goat buffalo so i know that you can feel this is so simple why ma'am is uh, making video of this but this it is in our book right so we have to write it and we have to mention all the names in their correct form right let's see the first one jackal so you will not see jackal around you so definitely you you can't see around you So this is jaguar is definitely wild animal because it is living in forest. So here I am mentioning jaguar. Right? Then after the second one is fox. So fox is also not around uh, living around him. So it, fox is also available in the forest. So let's write here. Fox, F O X, fox. Then after tiger. Okay, so tiger is also not living around him. Definitely tiger is wild animal, as we know that he is uh, the tiger. Tiger is living in the forest, right? So let's find here tiger. Then after dog. So we can pet. Uh, we can keep. dog as a pet at home right and dog you can see around you and outside everywhere so dog is domestic animal and it is 
very fair, faithful, and honest animal, right? Then at the cow, cow is giving us milk, right? And we are keeping as a pet, right? So many people in the village, they are giving cow and giving out their milk and selling it also, drinking it also. Cow's milk is very useful and healthy for hygiene for small kids, right? So cow is domestic animal. C O W H. Then after elephant. C. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can take the judgment that two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So among these five, maybe two will be wild animals and three will be <coughs> domestic animals. Okay. So now see elephant. Now once again I will tell you, you can see elephant around you on the road sometimes, right? But animal is living in the forest only, right? So we can say animal, elephant as a wild animal, okay? So let's write elephant here. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. -E then after bear. Bear is also not living around us. It is also living in the forest. So we can say bear is wild animal. B E A R bear. Sometimes we can see bear in the zoo, right? Now we are sheep. Okay? So sheep, we can use sheep wool to make woolen clothes, right? And uh, so many shepherds are keeping cows, sheep, goats, right? So sheep is as a pet animal we can keep at home. So sheep is domestic animal. So it is not harmful. It is not giving harm us also. Right? It's not harmful animal. Now, goat. Everyone knows that so many people uh, are keeping goat as a pet. Right? At home. So goat is also living around us. We can keep at home. So goat is not harmful also. So we can write goat as a domestic animal. So I am writing here G O A T got. Okay? And the last buffalo. So we all are drinking milk of buffalo. Right? And uh, so many people are keeping, especially in village, they are keeping buffalo at home, taking out their milk, selling it in dairy, as well door to door. Right? And we all are drinking the milk of buffaloes. They are not harmful for us. They are not harm us. So buffalo is also living around us and buffalo is also domestic animal. B U double F A L O. So in their domestic animals, dog, cow, sheep, goat, and buffalo. And in wild animals, jackal, fox, tiger, elephant, and deer. Okay, children. Now next exercise. Now children, here you can see the second exercise. Fill in the blanks with rhyming words. Rhyming words means whatever you are speaking, it should be in rhyme. Okay? Fun, bun. Okay? So like that way, how you are speaking? Fun, bun. So these all are rhyming words. How you are speaking? Whenever you are speaking, those rhyme is same. Okay? Hair, bear, nose, rose. Cup, pup. So these all are rhyming words. Maximum last three letters will be same. Okay? Whatever rhyming words we, we will write or we will see, we are speaking, those like, right, uh, last two, three letters. Last three letters are same. When you are writing the spelling, you will see that last three letters will be maximum same. Last two or three. Okay? And this exercise is available on page number 16. A. So right now you will write in textbook with me. But you have to copy this and before this uh, we return previous exercise. Those both exercises you have to write as homework in your notebook with heading, bracket, everything. Okay? Whenever man is writing capital letter, you will also write capital. Okay? And don't make spelling mistake. Okay? Now let's start this. Here you can see you. So now we will make two rhyming words B I R B I double N P P I double N P. Here you can see when we are 